Welcome to the first video of a new series I'm starting where I cover creations and dreams that help you make creations and dreams. We're starting the series off strong with a creation that helps you work with the dreams grid. This is by CG Cody. You may have seen it on Twitter and it is called underscore protractor. If I go into search um, and search, uh, there it is. Let me just show you how to place it because there is one step. Uh, you place it in, you select it, and then you ungroup it. You have to, you have to do that, or it might get a little messed up. The simplest explanation of what the heck this even does is it allows you to put the grid into any orientation you want. For, for example, we have this beautiful white cube, and we want the grid to be uh, 15 degrees off of this. So. We have this grid. I want one 15 degrees rotated from it. Align the grid to the cube. Align this uh, this thing to the cube. And then change the yaw to 15. So now we have this, uh, the the protractor cube, 15 degrees um, from, from this cube. And if we align the grid to the protractor cube, the, our our grid is now um, at the right orientation. So so we can take this cube, align it, and there you go, 15 degrees. You can make the grid in whatever orientation you want. What I just showcased though was in, it's in global mode. What if we want it relative to another object's orientation? Well, it can do that as well. If we, if we, just, if we just align this, right? I mean, this, this cube, this cube is, is not, the same as this one, even though everything's set to zero. If we set this to local angles, now it matches this cube. So we can we can do another 15%, right? There we go. So this is a super basic example, but we're basically taking this cube's orientation and then these numbers are relative to this when local angles uh, is switched on. When it's off, these numbers are relative to the, to the world, right? To the entire scene. It can do even more than that though. Let's say you have two points in space. This thing can create, uh, can orient the grid in a way that is parallel to the line those two points make. If that didn't make sense, that's okay because I can demo it. Let's say our first point is, uh, let's do this, is right here. Let's say our second point is here. What if we wanted a grid that was parallel to this line that these two points make? All you need to do is copy the, the, the protractor cube and place it on the second point. And here is that grid. Right, so this, uh, the original cube is creating, it is basically just pointing at the second cube. So if we, if we align the grid, there it is. So now we have uh, this grid and we can do, I mean, w whatever we want it to do. We, we can't change the yaw and pitch of this grid because again, it's, it's supposed to be parallel to, to this line, but we can change the roll. But yeah, that is um, that is the underscore protractor by CG Cody. This is again amazing. It, it is so helpful for just orienting the grid in any orientation you want. Um, it's it's very very nice to have. Full disclo full disclosure, I have not used this in a project yet, mainly because I just discovered it like a week ago. But when if I if I if I need like specific angles for things, th I mean this is exactly this is this is perfect. So I did say this would be a series. Uh, this is by far the most complex um, thing I have planned. Although hey, you never know what else is out there. I'm not gonna spoil what the next ones in the series are gonna be, but. But yeah, let me let me know if this was interesting, if you hadn't seen this before, if you'd be able to use this, if you have used this, let let me let me know in the comments. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this this short little video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.